Hello students, myself Dr. C. I. Sharma and now I am going to discuss Unit 2B Molecular Rearrangements and the Name Reactions of Semester 5 in Paper 301. This unit contains different reactions and different rearrangement. Hoffman reaction, Wolf rearrangement, Price rearrangement, Open R oxidation reaction, Dilsader reaction and Birch reduction. Step by step, we will discuss all the reactions and rearrangements. Now, first reaction is Hoffman reaction. The scientist would discover the Hoffman reaction. The photo of him is just given on your screen. First, what is the Hoffman reaction? What about the introduction of the Hoffman reaction? So in its introduction, when primary amide is reacted with the sodium hypobromide, then it is converted into primary amide having one carbon less than the amide. In its principle, when unsubstituted amide is treated with the alkaline solution of the bromine, that is sodium hypobromide or chlorine that is sodium hypochlorite a primary amine having one carbon less than the amide is obtained this reaction is known as Hoffman reaction reaction is just given on your screen from this reaction we can say that when amide is reacted with the Br2 and NaOH these two combine and it forms sodium hypobromide and it converts the amide into primary amide having less than one carbon than the amide along with this NaBr, Na2CO3 and water is also obtained as a byproduct. One of the important thing in this rearrangement is the carbonyl carbon atom of the amide is lost and the R group of amide gets attached to the nitrogen of the amide. That's why this is also known as the rearrangement reaction. Now we'll discuss the mechanism of this reaction. In step number one, the amide undergoes the base promoted bromination to give N bromamide as an intermediate. As you see the mechanism on the screen, first amide will react with the hydroxide ion and it will be converted into N ion of amide and which N ion of amide when reacted with the bromine then it will be converted into N bromamide. These all the mechanism you can easily see on the screen. In step 2 the hydroxide ion abstract a proton from N bromamide to produce the corresponding anion. This is shown here. This anion undergoes migration of R and loss of bromine simultaneously to form an isocyanate. This step of the reaction is very very important step because in this step the alkyl group will be migrated towards the nitrogen atom and forms isocyanate. In step 3 the isocyanate undergoes the rapid hydration to form an unstable carbamic acid which loses CO2 molecule to give the amine. So this step is also given on your screen. So this is the detailed mechanism of the Hoffman reaction. Now the last part of the mechanism or reaction that is the application of Hoffman reaction. We all know that many industries are following Hoffman reactions but only few applications will discuss. In first and most important application of the Hoffman reaction is that when the mixture of 3 deuterobenzamide and benzamide containing isotopic nitrogen undergoes the Hoffman reaction, it produces only the simple products 3 deuteroaniline and aniline containing isotopic nitrogen. No cross products are obtained during the reaction. In second application, metabromo aniline can obtain from the benzoic acid. In this reaction, first of all, benzoic acid undergoes 
bromination and it produces metabromobenzoic acid which on reaction with the thionyl chloride produces the meta amino benzoyl chloride and veta amino benzoyl chloride when reacted with the ammonia it will produces meta bromobenzamide and meta bromobenzamide on reaction with the NaOBr it will produces meta bromo aniline so these are the reactions of different reactions of hoffman rearrangement or hoffman reactions